Yo, what's poppin', Realist One? Support the platform and the light respectfully on it respectfully. You know, when you hear headlines involving 6 9 you really expect for it to go one way. He's been attacked before. He's even went missing before, right? It's been years, and every time I see that man name in the headlines, I'm automatically assuming, wow, they must have finally got him. That's not saying that I want that to happen, because I don't wish nothing on him. You know, no matter what he did, I'm not wishing nothing on that man, because all it's going to do is come back on me. If somebody put themselves in a situation where they possibly did wrong to others, and karma and the universe works a way to repay them for that, then that's their business. But I will not sit here and wish something on somebody. I don't care what they did. You know what I'm saying? So 6 9 was savagely beat. That's what the headline reads. By a group of dudes in a sauna, right? A South Florida gym. Uh, there's a video that's going around. Actually, there's a couple of clips, of the, a couple of different portions of the video going around. And they, they, they really did them bad, fam. Like, Omi is on the ground, like, trying to block. And they just, like, stomping this man. And you can't really even tell how many people are, are beating him up. But you even see folk who are, like, looking in through the bathroom door. And it's just, it looked pitiful. And, you know, some people are sympathizing with it to an extent because some people feel like no matter how big of a rat he would have been, if he would have been like some real cock diesel dude, you know, big muscles and all that, and he wasn't that size, some people feel like they wouldn't have even addressed it at all. You know, but that's what you call selective outrage, selective violence. Huh? So he in there, and, you know, they run down on him, do what they do. And they say he tried to fight back, but there was too many. And they, they dog-walked him, right? He didn't have no security, which is their first mistake. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't imagine living a life like that, where you got to look over your shoulders 24-7. And the minute you don't have your security breathing down your neck, that leaves an open window of opportunity for somebody to tap you on your shoulders. It only take a second, fam. It only takes a second. So imagine what would have happened if he didn't have security those other times. You know what I'm saying? The gym staff heard the commotion. They notified a manager, and then here come police and EMS. They got called to the scene and transported him to a hospital. The photo that's going around, you know, you see gashes. You see the swelling. They say that he reported the... uh had injuries to his jaw, ribs, and his back. His lawyer is making plans to call the feds to make sure that he's properly protected. I think that's y'all best bet. I don't know what y'all was thinking the first time anyway. Um, they say it's, uh, it's, it's unclear if the gym attack had anything to even do with his situation for why you would assume he was attacked. You know what I mean? There's a couple ways to look at it. Did he deserve it? There's a lot of people who are going to say, yeah. I'm not going to say nothing. Like I say, I leave it everything up to the universe itself to sort those type of things out. Because who are we really to say that somebody deserves something? If they didn't do it to me personally, it's not for me to say. That's the way I look at it. As a matter of fact, it's very simple. Nobody is exempt. And it don't matter how much money you got, how much status you got, you know, how many hit records you got. Nobody is exempt. When you do things, whether good or bad, there's a bounce back. The energy of the universe is real, fam. You know, you can't make that up. Now, I mean, I'm not just talking about 6 9 I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about him, me, whoever's listening to this video. Don't matter. Like I said, some people feel like he's still human and they didn't necessarily have to do him that bad. You know what I'm saying? His face all bloody 
And he just looked at pitiful. These fools had the nerve to say I'm a fan. <laughs> That's petty. That's petty. They trolling with that one. They trolling with that one. They wilding. They said I'm a fan. And he like, yeah, but y'all just jump me. You know, and you can see he walking away, trying to get the hell away from them. And they still walking up behind them. Like they ready to do something else. <laughs> you can't make this up, dog. That's the whole thing about the street life, right? Even when you have a situation where the aggressors take matters into their own hands based on a person's past situation, it's like, was that the smart thing to do? Because now, you know, they done recorded it and all that. He can have them locked up. You know what I'm saying? It's out there floating all over the internet. So they wasn't really being smart. So my thing is, who wins and was it really worth it? That's that energy of the universe I'm talking about. That's that bounce back. But leave your own comments, perspective, and thoughts, man. Really, somehow.